This team of scientists call themselves the virus hunters. Uh, essentially, I am a bat ecologist. Uh, I've, done, uh, I've been working on bats for more than 20 years now. For nearly a decade, bat ecologist Philip Alviola and his team have been studying bats and how their viruses can affect humans. They've caught thousands of bats in the Philippines for analysis, and with the help of scientists from Japan, they've detected new viruses. The team ventures out into forests and caves where bats are known to roost and set up traps before sunset. In most cases, they would then take saliva and fecal samples before releasing them back into the wild. We just finished setting up a mist net. So as you can see here, uh, it's called the mist uh, because, well, the, the color is, the thread is made out of nylon. It's color black. And from a distance, you can't actually see, see the net. So hence, it's called, uh, it's, it blended, it blends with uh, the forest background. So, so we use this for capturing bats. Their latest project involved developing a simulation model that can predict the dynamics of coronavirus in bats by analyzing specific factors like time, climate, season and temperature and their effects on viral transmissions and transmissibility to humans. What we're trying to, to look into are other strains of coronavirus that have the potential to, to jump to humans. What are, these, what are these airs that have the potential to be the ground zero for, for coronavirus infection? By using molecular techniques, uh, molecular laboratory work, so we can determine if some of these coronaviruses have the potential to infect humans, or what you call as zoonotic to humans, that, that the, the ability of the virus to jump from an animal host to a human host. Alveola admitted there were risks involved in hunting viruses, but said it does not deter him from studying it. If we know the virus itself and where we know where it came from, we know how to isolate that virus geographically. So we can uh, implement some restriction, travel restrictions. We can prevent um, city to city, province to province transmission. I think uh, our project has this amazing promise of possibly avoiding a next pandemic by determining where or possibly when the next pandemic will occur. Bus culture, no.